Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 23rd tutorial on Java FX8. In this tutorial we are going to see a combo box action method with a text field and database. So this is the 23rd tutorial on on the relation of combo box text field and database we are going to add one combo box action method in this tutorial so before that I will execute the program and show you the what we have did in the last tutorial So in the last tutorial we have added this combo box and now in this tutorial we are going to set an action method for combo box that is when we click on any of the user the user information will appear in the this text field. So let's start with the action method. So combo box dot set on action and I'm going to use a lambda expression so now I'm going to create a, a string for the QD equals to I'm going to select all from user database table where with the click of first name we are going to retrieve the database data into the text field so I am going to use this query SQL query to retrieve the database data into the text field so PST equals to the connection con dot prepare statement semicolon next I'm going to add one more set so string index parameter say one and the I'm going to use a string for the combo box. We are going to dot get selection model and dot get selected item. we are going to choose the combo box from the scene and from the scene we are going to select the item from the combo box so the next is the this is the error because of we have to add a try catch block in the action method so I am going to surround with a try catch block so it will resolve the problem next I am going to execute the query so rs equals to pst dot execute the query 
now we are going to fetch the database data and set it into the text fields so to do that I'm going to add one while loop so rs dot next with each row we are going to add the data into the database data into the text field so first is the id dot set text and in this in the bracket I'm going to get the value from the database so rs dot get string and column label is id so I will copy this for the remaining and next is first name last name email username and password so I will change here also first name last name email then username and password so the next one more field has to be added so that is the date so to do that I'm going to add a text field to retrieve the date so date dot get editor and set the text for the date field and in this bracket I'm going to add rs get string from the database and the label is column label is date of birth so we have done with the fetching the data into the application so next I'm going to close the connection and close the result set so now we have done with the, our program now save this and execute so initial username and password I have set that Ram and Ram. So this is the combo box, and we have write an action method for the combo box. Now, when we click any user, it will fetch the database content into the text field. So I will click now on Rahul, and see this is the database contents that appears on the text field that is the id the first name last name last name email id username password and date of birth similarly when we click on any other user for example i have clicked on sachin a john the problem of the john is it's his date is not set so uh, next is Virat and Ram the date of birth of Ram user Ram is not set so it is blanked now Peter 
Tony. So this is the tutorial 23rd on combo box text field and database relation. If you have any question about this tutorial, ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email ID that is alapureram at the rate gmail.com and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial